but the big print giveth, the small print taketh away. In many documents, like leases, like mortgages, like bank loans, the small print and insurance contracts, the small print takes away what we think we're getting in the big print. I had an example of this in my jewelry business where we had a break-in and I thought I had coverage on all my jewelry. And then I found out in the small print, we were only covered up to $50 for each piece. In doing contracts with banks, we talked to a client, a client recently who said the banks do not in any way, shape or form have a lien on any of my assets. And based on that, we went to look for another opportunity for him. And based on that, we saw he was absolutely wrong. On two loans, all his collateral was tied up. He just didn't know. In leases, many times if you're leasing a building and you want to sell and the person that buys it wants to stay in that brick and mortar, you need a transfer of the lease agreement from the landlord. That's one of the first things I used to ask when I was a business broker, because there's a thing in New York, which they call key money, which means if you sell your business to someone else who's gonna take over the lease, the landlord gets key money and the Lord, landlord can be king or queen in whether or not uh, the deal goes through. Just something to know. So in cases like that, look at the fine print in loans with banks, look at the fine print, but better yet, pay an attorney to do it. They know what to look for, you don't. They can read the language that's so difficult to read. So let's go to number four.